back to another Minecraft video. This is me, Kid. How are you doing today? Um, today I'm doing well and I actually have a bit of a surprise. So if you look here, I'm actually in my Minecraft Bedrock uh, single player world. So this is the world that I play on when I'm not recording anything or when I'm not editing or when I'm not making any videos. So as a kind of a treat, I figured that today I'm going to do a tutorial on this here Minecraft starter house, which was actually my very first starter house in this world. Um, so yeah, I would go over everything else, but that's not quite what's included in this video. Um, afterwards, I'll join you back in this world and I'll show you some interior inspiration. Okay, so until then, I'll see you in the creative world to actually build this Minecraft starter house. everybody this is kid and welcome back to my uh, tutorial land last time when we was here we actually made this tower right here and if you haven't noticed it looks quite identical to this tower right here um, either way I think it came out looking really really good and I hope that a lot of y'all put it into your worlds and I would love to see pictures of, of these towers in your worlds um, yeah so please if you if you have added this tower to your minecraft worlds Please send me a, um, a message on Twitter because I would love to see them. Alright, so with enough distractions, let's get on with today's build. So right here we have a 7x7, seven seven, which I have in advance marked out in um, cobblestone blocks. Okay, so our today, today's build is going to be a starter house, as I said before. And pretty much the block palette is reflective of the ones that we used last time. So we're going to use spruce logs, spruce planks, spruce stairs, spruce slabs, spruce trap doors, and also stripped spruce logs as well. Okay, we have oak, we have stripped oak, oak planks, oak stairs, oak slabs, oak trap doors. Um, I don't think we're going to be using buttons today. Uh, we have cobblestone, mossy, we have regular stone, we have stone brick, we have lanterns, and we have some a couple of other items that we might use in this build today. So with that being said, let's get to the build. Okay, so basically here it is 7x7. Seven se seven. We're going to fill it up on two rows using the cobble. So just like this. And then fill in this row here, or rather this whole square, just fill it all in with cobble. Alright. Just like this. Then, for the next uh, row, if you will, or the next platform, there we go. We're going to do this, right? And we're going to use cobblestones to kind of lay out a perimeter. Just a perimeter. just like this okay because this kind of part right here is going to serve as the floor inside of this starter home so what you want to do next is we're going to take our oak slabs right from here we go ah, there we go there we go so we're going to take our oak slabs and we're going to fill in this space right here that we didn't fill in with our cobblestone and this is going to serve as the floor and the house, as I said before. Then what you want to do is you're going to put a spruce log on each and every corner and go up by four and four only. So, without further ado, here we go. One, two, three, four. Over here, give it a space of five and then go by four. One, two, uh, three, and four. And here as well, one, two, three, and four. And here as well, one, two, three, and four. Again, go up by four and give it a space of five. Up by four, space of five. Right, so after that, you're going to take your spruce logs and we're just going to kind of do cross beams on each and every side, just like this. And 
and when it's done it should look like this okay so next up you're going to take your spruce stairs and you're going to lay them out as follows go on the edges like this and just put your um your spruce stairs like this additionally on each end overhang it by one so that way when we make a roof it will overhang the structure rather than it being kind of like right here okay so we put one there and we put one here as well and let's do the same thing on the other side okay so now it should look like this all right so next up we're going to take well keep your spruce stairs and now we're going to do the roof so basically we're going to just do a kind of a repeating stair pattern as you see just like this until we reach the very middle of the structure which should be about here right okay so I'll do the same thing on the other side like this take your time there's no rush totally fine okay just like that and when you get to the middle like this put an upside down spruce stair right there so it should look like this then we're going to do the same roof, roof pattern on the other side so I'll do it again with you and if you're doing this in survival it might take it a little bit longer obviously I'm creative so I can kind of fly which in some ways is unfair but uh, there's no there's no rush here just take your time and you will get it I have 100% confidence in you okay so there we have it then on the final block of the of this roof so put your spruce slab on the very top like that like that and it should look like this when the outline is completed okay so next you want to take your oak wood stairs and connect up the um, outline like this no not like that like this okay and basically you're going to keep doing the same repeating pattern on both sides and the last one two and it's done now there we go so it should look just like this when it's done and then what you want to do next is actually take your oak planks and fill in this here gap just like this okay then you want to take your oak um, slabs and then fill in those gaps just like that so basically take your oak slabs and and put them every other one and then take your oak trap doors and fill in the blanks that are left behind just like this so it should look just like this when it's done okay so next you want to go back to your spruce stairs and right here you want to put them on every other log so like this like this and then on the spaces left you want to take your spruce slabs or you know what I'm gonna make a, a switch here how about let's take the uh, spruce trap doors and instead fill those in there we go so it should look like that that way we can give it a texture change and everything doesn't look the exact same so yes instead like I said use your spruce trap doors okay all right so let's do the same thing on the other side again I'll walk you through it so you're gonna put a a spruce stair on every other log like this and then take your spruce trap doors and fill them in just like that okay then next if you go inside the house right you want to take your stripped spruce and just fill in this area like this just like this and you'll have this look and now we're going to repeat this on the other side so as i said fill it in just like this and there you have it going to be your ceiling okay and let's go back on the outside to give it another look and that's how it looks 
All right, next, let's take our fruit slab. And we're actually going to put them here on every other one. Kind of like we did at the very top of the roof. We're going to do it right here on the sides of the roof as well, just like this. And then in the gaps, we're going to put our oak trap door. Again, so we can have a texture change. Okay? So every, every other one, put a uh, sprue slab, and then use your oak trap doors and fill in those gaps right there. Just like that. All right, so now we did the roof, we're gonna go in the inside. Um, for now, I'm just going to use oak plank to fill in this, this part of the uh, inside. And then later on, I will take um, stripped oak and I'll kind of mess it up a little bit so that way it doesn't all look like oak in the inside. So basically just through this, just filling it in. I'll even uh, do the windows and all that other stuff as well later on. So for right now, um, yeah, just fill this part in with your oak plank. Just like this. So now when it's filled in, it should look just like that, right? So now we need to determine where our front is going to be. And for the purpose of this video, I think I'm going to put the entrance to our home right here, okay? So go to the very end where you see the cobblestone, right? And then go over, I think, about one. And again, get your, your, your spruce log. And we're going to go up by two. So one, two just like that and then put another one in front of that one like that and then go to the other end and do the same thing so here's the cobblestone and like I said just go over one and go up by two and then in front of that one just place one just like this okay then what you want to do is take your spruce stairs and you want to put one right here so this level one with your spruce stairs and then do the same thing right here so you should have this look when it's done. Then you want to take your spruce slab and put them on the spruce log. And if you're playing in survival, this will help you out later on because it'll prevent um, mobs from spawning, especially bad mobs from spawning. So anyhow, after all that is done, you should have something that looks like this. Then we're going to do, again, we're going to take our spruce log and we're going to just go up by two on each end like this so two here two here two here two here and basically two f for the rest of them as well so two here two here as well two here and two here like that then take your spruce stairs and put one on those logs just like this all the way around just like this Okay, so when all that's done, you should have a house that looks like this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab some texture blocks. I'm going to grab some stone. I'm going to grab some um, stone brick. Also, I'm going to grab some cobble and mossy cobble. And I'm going to go into this area right here. And I'm kind of just going to randomly scatter different blocks just to give it a texture change or in other words, a texture variation. Again, there's no particular order that I'm doing here. I'm just kind of randomly placing it where afterwards it will look just like this. And basically I'm gonna do the same kind of thing I did here. I'm gonna do it all the way around and I'll come back with you guys when that's done. So when everything is done, it should look just like this. Okay. Now, next up what I'm going to do is I guess I'm going to decide where we're going to put our windows. And I think our door is actually going to go right here because we have stairs here. I think that's the most logical spot for it to go. So uh, let's just break three spots here and let's put a spruce stair right here upside down. Just one right there. That's fine. Now, um, let's go on the inside and I think I'm going to break off... Um, I think just one, one right here, 
so one window. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to break these three like I just did and then place a stair here and then put it upside down right there. Just like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Okay. Now that we have our two windows, um, I'm going to add a fireplace. So here we go. Just take your cobble and we're just going to go up from the middle. So from the middle, just go up by one, two, three, four, break this, this, five, six, um, and you're going to place a stair on there. I'm just going to place Mossy for right now as a block holder. All right, and then I'm going to break this one behind it and then go up with uh, cobblestone. I'm going to go up one, two, three, four. Okay, I think four is high enough, okay? So then I'm going to take a campfire and put it on top of the cobblestone right here. And I'm going to surround this bad guy and, uh, let's see, I guess our oak trap doors. You could use any, uh, tra um, any trap door that you would like. I'll just use oak. Okay, and then close up the trap doors. And then look what we have here. We have a fireplace now. So, uh, just like I did down there, if you, uh, and like I said, if you want to, you can do it as well. Just put some blocks here, kind of do a texture change. Again, you don't have to, but I'm going to do it. And also, I think I'm going to fill in the, the base slightly. Uh, let's see what we can do here to kind of make it, I guess, thicker, bigger. What have you okay so i'm going to put um hmm, maybe one there no i think two there maybe and maybe one here and one there i think um let's see i need some regular cobble stairs real quick okay perfect so now i got the cobble stairs i'm going to place one right here one right there, and I think I'm going to put one right here. So if we take a step back, we have this look. Or actually, let me see something. Let me see how this will look. Ah, actually, you know what? That's better. So instead of putting a block there, we're just going to put a stair here. And like I did before, I'm just going to go around and put some different blocks to give it a bit of a different look. Um, again, you don't have to. It's totally up to you. Oh, what you want to do here okay so here we go all right so there you have it now we have a, a a chimney on our home now the last thing the second to last thing i'm going to do like i did before is i'm going to take some in this case some strip stripped oak logs and i'm going to texture up the house like this okay you don't have to it's totally up to you I think I've said it like four times already, <laughs> but I'll say it again. You really don't have to do this step. If you want to leave it um, with en without any of the texturing, that's totally up to you. Um, I'll do it because I think it looks way better and it gives it a more of a kind of old look or lived in look and all of that. So after I'm done with the texturing, I'll be back with you. Okay, welcome back. I did the texturing and I'll show you real quick how it looks. Okay. So there you have it. I hope you like it. And as a final act, I think I'm going to go in here and I'm going to um, place some windows in here. Okay, so let's place the windows in right there and right there. Let's place the door um, right here. Um, and as far as the interior, I'm actually going to take you guys back to my single player world and I'll meet you guys there to show you some maybe how you can do the interior of your build okay I'll see you right back in a second welcome back everybody welcome to my single player world okay so the reason I came over this way is because I wanted to actually give you guys some interior um, inspiration but before I do that can we just take a moment to appreciate the build not only the build but the outside of the build I mean look at this place I think it looks absolutely awesome 
Um, actually, on a random note, I'm trying to come up with a tutorial showing you guys how to build this whole place. I mean, it took me a while, it took me like a couple of weeks, but yeah, I think it came out great. But um, yeah, anyhow, let me stop getting distracted. So um, yeah, let's go in, let's go into the inside so I get the interior, all right? So as you can see, I'm, I'm in the inside. Currently, I was just standing on the table, but uh, that's okay. So right there, I have a table for maybe a potential guest that decides to, I don't know, decides to walk onto my world somehow in some way, and that's okay. I have a couple of storage barrels here on top of a log, just kind of a, uh, a decoration. I have a smithing table here, a brewing table, I have a cauldron. Um, I have a smoker here. And I also have a, um, a blast furnace here for all my ores and stuff like that. So, yeah, this is just some interior inspiration that I, that I wanted to give you guys uh, before I left you. Okay, and also here's my bedroom. It looks pretty plain and it's pretty, you know, uh, pretty empty. But that's okay because it's pretty much just me. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. And, well, hey, if that's the case, can you please do me a favor and go down and drop me a like and possibly even maybe subscribe. And also, leave in the comments what you thought about this build, and I will see you guys in the next Minecraft video. Have an awesome day. Alright, take care now, and stay safe. Bye-bye. <laughs>